Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Almuinia Pica. I'm an undergraduate physics and geomatics student working with Dr. Keener's plasma group. Uh, my project is called Crosswind Force Reduction on a Light Sport Aircraft by using a symmetrical dielectric barrier discharge plasma actuator uh, on a uh, vertical stabilizer. Um, essentially what I'm using is uh, the dielectric barrier method that is used in food sterilization and, uh, and bacteria. Uh, control and uh, using it instead as a method of aerodynamic flow control over a, uh, an aircraft tail fin. Uh, this process has gained a lot of traction in the aerospace community since its conception in 2004 and how this works is that two electrodes are separated by a dielectric material in this case Teflon tape at a spacing of 0.26 millimeters and uh, what this does is prevents current from passing through but after a certain breakdown voltage voltage will arc and, uh, and create a discharge between the two electrodes. And what this does is excites the air and these excitations create collisions. These collisions ionize the air and creates free electrons. Um, and in this case, the uh, two electrodes will be having a, a voltage pass through them at 10 to 15 kilovolts at a frequency of 15 to 30 kilohertz with roughly 400 to 460 watts of power. So the electrons then are repelled from the upper electrode as they carry the same charge and they uh, are thrusted in two different directions. The first is downward and creating a wall jet effect thrusted downward onto the airfoil, deflected upwards into a spiral vortex acting as a vortex generator and these vortices travel down the, uh, from the leading edge to the tailing edge. What these vortices do is that it takes uh, free flowing high momentum air from the upper boundary layer brings it down to the separated turbulent lower layer and adds momentum to the system and thus delays the flow separation and changes the conditions from turbulent to laminar. The second force being acted upon is ionic thrust heading in the X direction down the airfoil. And what this does is that any free flowing air coming over it will be entrenched in the momentum being forced downwards. So all air coming in will essentially be redirected and flow parallel to the airfoil also with the assistance of a local electromagnetic field, which once ionized will follow its trajectory and thus redirecting the crosswind flow and reducing its force on the aircraft. And then increasing the frequency. And then duty cycle. So I became very interested in this topic uh, as I wanted to combine my passion for aviation and cold plasma as well. Uh, DBD actuators are actually used quite a lot in uh, stall control and high-speed aerodynamics. Well, you can use it to reduce the uh, amount, the, the stall at a high angle of attack. And also at high speeds, the air friction increases and there's, uh, there's more heat. Uh, and essentially you can make it a more aerodynamic wing by using the, uh, the uh, plasma actuator as well. Uh, I hope that uh, this can be used and investigated further to uh, enhance yaw stability and make uh, crosswind landing safer for pilots.